Some people prefer Sublime Text over Visual Studio because of its minimalistic features, but there is one issue that usually draws people away. Sublime Text does not come with IntelliSense built in and it is very important to most of us. If you don't know what IntelliSense is, it is basically an autofill function for Unity which can speed up your coding process, and if you're not using it, you're missing out a lot. This video is a step-by-step -step guide to using Sublime Text with Unity and getting IntelliSense working with it. Assuming that you have Sublime Text installed already, the first step is downloading Mono. If not, then go ahead and download Sublime Text first. If you're wondering, Mono is required to get IntelliSense working properly. Now I will provide the links under the like button. Downloading Mono is actually fairly simple. You just have to select your platform, I'll be choosing Windows, and then click on one of these to start downloading. Once the file is downloaded, click on the file to open it, and run the installer. I will not be going through this process because I have already installed it on my computer, but if you had to, you will just press next and it will take you through it, it's very simple. Now open Sublime Text and press Ctrl, Shift and P at the same time. Or, alternatively, you could go to Tools and click on Command Palette right here. And it will open this window. What you have to do now is write Package Control. And as you can see, we can see um, Install Package Control. Press Enter and you'll get a message popping up. Yes, as you can see, it says Package Control was successfully installed. So this is a good sign. It means you have installed Package Control, obviously. Click OK and restart your Sublime Text. After reopening Sublime Text, press Ctrl Shift P or just like before, you can choose Tools and then click on Command Palette. And now what we have to write here is Package Control and go ahead and highlight this one. Package Control Install Package and then press Enter. Another window should pop up here, a search bar. Yes, as you can see, now we have to write Unity completions and you can see that it's here you can use your uh, arrow keys to highlight it if it's not on top and then press enter to install it as you can see it's been installed down here once the package is successfully installed we can go to unity now and uh, click on edit on top here then go down to preferences external tools and to this drop down menu next to the external script editor so we have to choose sublime text now uh, usually Microsoft Visual Studio is selected by default, so we have to choose Sublime Text. If you do not have this option, you can always browse and find it from your files, but I do, so I'll be choosing this one. We can now close this menu and uh, go ahead and open a script to see whether uh, Unity is opening our scripts using Sublime Text. So I'll double click on a script and as you can see, yes, it does, so that's a good sign. And I'll see whether the auto-completion IntelliSense is actually working, so I'll write public, uh, let's say transform, and yes, it does work actually, so it is offering us some words to complete our sentence. I'll delete this and write game object, and yes, it does uh, say game object here, so it is guessing what we're going to type and offering us those words. So it is a good sign, it means your IntelliSense is successfully installed and now you can use Sublime Text with Unity.